Cancer. Welcome, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Cancerians. So may not resonate with everyone. Just take what speaks to you, leave the rest. The majority of my readings are not date or time specific. I usually mention it right out of the gate. So I just trust that whenever you come upon it, if the title resonates, if the reading aligns with your situation, your experience, then it's your reading at that time. One little announcement, I am running a contest in case you didn't hear. It's perfect for your birthday season coming up. So the individual sign reading with the most shares um, is going to win a live bonus reading here on YouTube. I know, I've never gone live before on YouTube. I have within the um, channel membership, but not just here on the platform, but it would be a dedicated live reading for your sign cancer. So, you know, and good for any Cancerian placements in your chart or that of your divine counterpart. So that's pretty exciting. Here's how it's going to work. Um, the shares will be calculated for the first 72 hours. Once I post this, 72 hours later is the cutoff. That way people don't wait till the end of the month to kind of outbid each other, um, which wouldn't be fair to Pisces since they're always... <laughs> closing out the series um and then if there's a tie the likes will break the tie so likes are still important but the shares is what i'm after uh sharing costs you nothing i've been saying this in every reading subscribing is free liking is free um, but what you can win for yourself that may be of value to you is a live bonus reading so share share if you care to Okay, Cancer, let's see what's coming through for you. We are approaching your season. I will be uploading your solar return spread, your birthday bonus reading. Could be a super bonus birthday season for you, Cancer, between your birthday spread and potentially winning the contest. Yay. I'm pulling from the Shaman's Dream. One card for you, Mindful, Groupthink. I've been getting lots of Oracle. It came out for Gemini 2. Um, about this group, you know, um, community, group, uh, co-creation, collaboration, lots of energies kind of coming together all at once here. Um, card 40, so you drop the zero off. It's a four. It is about stability and structures, but this is a card of being mindful and being mindful of what your mind is full of. Groupthink is you know, when you hear stuff buzzing around and that's what all these little lights are, right? It's like everybody's got an opinion, everybody's, you know, got their conspiracy theory of the moment, whatever. And sometimes we can fall prey to that. So being mindful of what's taking up space and, you know, what's renting space in your mind is really helpful. I just used this deck, I don't need it anymore. So that's what you're being called to pay attention to right? Be, be um, deliberate with your thoughts. Be careful about, you know, thoughts can become things. Thoughts are not things, but they can become things. And so it's careful to monitor our own mental outlook and what and where we're being sort of manipulated or um, led astray by popular conventional theory. Got it? Be unique, Cancer. All right. So here's your anchor card, the Three of Cups. The first three cards up here are your divine counterpart. That's my intention. We have two major arcana and an ace. This is you right here in this row, Cancer. There you are, dead center very powerful um and going forward one two three major arcana we've got five major arcana out of seven cards so this is representing a big shift in your life and or this connection um as always the energies can be reversed so that's okay especially if you're here as a cross watcher but the three of cups is exactly and look at the colorations how similar they are the group think right we've got chatter here could be third-party energy, doesn't have to be. 
Sometimes the three of cups is just representing a celebration, could be around a holiday. The next one coming up here in the States is the 4th of July, keep that in mind. But, you know, I'm seeing multiple people here. There, it could involve your emotions, I will, I will clarify. Your divine counterpart in the past, we have the moon, something hidden, maybe um, making them apprehensive because they don't know what's really going on. You showing up in the past with the world energy. Endings and new beginnings, cycle completed, lesson learned, boom, on to the next. So there may have been some apprehension or fear or um, insecurities triggered by your divine counterpart in the past. Right now, ace of wands for them, chariot for you. I feel like something's moving forward full steam here. Moving forward full steam is what's coming through right here, right now. I will clarify. Um, and then we've got the sun in the future and you in your powers of manifestation all the elements present to help you manifest anything you desire your heart's desire so really powerful energies coming in let's take a look at the three of cups first we've got pisces leo aquarius and capricorn your energy and the magician uh, which is virgo and gemini Three of Cups. Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor. My goodness. And underneath the Fool. Oh, this is so lovely. So I do see a celebration. Look at... Now, I know you're a Cancerian here, but I almost think you're the Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor staring right at you. This is about life partnership. Um, this is about commitment and this divine masculine taking the leap of faith and making it happen. So I am seeing the three of cups in some energy that's more celebratory. That's just the way it's coming through here. Um, I feel like they're going to, uh, to make their move. They're going to make their move. I know. The moon... So in the past, yeah, the moon sent them underground. Um, I think they were a little conflicted about it. There could have been a lot of um, tension in the air with that five of wands. Could have been outside interference and some tension here. So they sort of, you know, took their toys and went home. It just feels like it was a little bit too much uncertainty. And so the hermit is when they kind of go into that reclusive energy, a little more solitary and remote. And the reason why is they were waiting for everything to come into flow. The temperance, they were exercising patience and um, self-control and restraint. My gosh, you can't get any more self-control and restraint than the hermit and temperance. So whatever was going on, tripped them out a little bit, five of wands, it was too much. And they kind of went to ground and um, waiting for things to come into flow. And now here they are with this Ace of Wands kind of emerging from their reclusive hermit's cave. With, with They don't have a lantern. They have a torch of passion. It's what I'm seeing coming through. Hmm. Ace of Wands, please, for their present energy, this divine gift of inspired passion. They're feeling ready. Ten of Swords. Knight of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. All right. Um, I think despite... Like, there was something here. There's something here that they think is over. They think it's already done. Um, painful ending, but it's not stopping them. And that may be the moon. Um, they may, they're not stopping now. Now I feel like they're ready to return. They have possibly learned something here in the energy of the hermit. They've waited long enough. The ace of wands is propelling them forward despite 
the difficult and painful ending that may have occurred, that they sort of feel things are over, but I, I'm not going to let that stop me. The Knight of Pentacles underneath is modulating their behavior because what they really want to do is be at your front door. And what they're underneath in their psyche is, well, I better have a plan. So I do feel the Knight of Pentacles is modulating the, the um, impulsivity of this person. They, you could be dealing with a Sag. We have Sagittarian energy twice here. Um, we got Aries, we've got Aquarius. Um, so I just feel as if they're ready to return, but they're being very careful. And they're re and they're, the reason they're being careful is because something came to a very bitter end here. And so I'm not sure that they're sure of what they're going to get. But they've done their inner work and now they're ready to return. And what is going to come of it, we've got this beautiful sun, some Leo energy popping in. Mm -hmm. And they are ready to return to you, Queen of Cups, because you're their happiness. Oh, I love when that happens. Yeah, they have lots of regrets. Five of cups. Um, that uh, page of pentacles. So they're going to tread carefully. I love it. So they have regrets about this ten of swords, whatever it means to you. Everybody's got different um, storylines a little bit. But this five of cups is they're going to be uh, moving toward you here from their heart with love, seeking the happiness ever present of mind, though, are there regrets of the past, mistakes that were made. So they will tread carefully and possibly take baby steps, meaning they're not going to come on like the gangbusters ace of wands here. They're going to approach you with more sensitivity. Um, I love that the Knight of Pentacles is tempering that Knight of Wands. Uh, they're, they're easily tempered, which is good, meaning that they understand how to rein themselves in and they know that they may have to tread carefully and just put one foot in front of the other with you as they move forward. The world for you in the past, you close out a cycle here. Mm -hmm. Reestablish the balance of, you know, some fairness, some balance in your life. Um, wow. Eight of wands. Feel like this is something that you talked through with this person. And the two of pentacles means that, you know, I think in the past you weren't really clear on what you were dealing with. So the two of pentacles, it's like a little bit of a juggling act, but it's happening in real time. And you're sort of sorting things out in real time, weighing your priorities on the ground, you know, looking at what you're really dealing with and trying to sort through it. Um, I feel like as if you, 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 all of your communication here was like, things are just not in balance. I've learned from this. I've grown from this and I'm still undecided as if we, you know, as to whether or not we can make this work. That's what sent them into the hermit mode is you sort of making it plainly clear that what you wanted was balance. And when I say balance, I don't, you know, I just mean something was terribly unfair and you spoke to it and kind of came out with the, you know, the jury's out. I don't know what we're going to do here. And it sent this person on a deep inner dive. And I think it really helped. It looks like it worked to your advantage, Cancer, because here you are in this moment of victory, uh, moving forward. Mm-hmm. There's your truth. Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, um, in this particular deck, it looks pretty ominous. You know, you have the tower exploding in the back. You got blood on his sword there. It's got an angry feeling. Um, I'm not seeing that here. I think you have spoken truth to power. You're free and liberated. You're moving forward. Um, your approach was, um, was the right one. Chariot, yes, confirmation. Your approach was the right one. You are con you're presently or you are benefiting from having spoken truth to power, um, clearing the air, making your, um, your thoughts and your perceptions known. 
and it's moving you forward with your soulmate. Underneath the lovers, right? I mean, Gemini energy. I do want to say, Cancer, if you are dealing with a Gemini, I took a look at, I digress for a minute. I took a look at your last reading. And the cards that came out in your last reading are almost identical to the cards that just came out in Gemini's reading. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, you are very close to coming into total alignment. You may want to watch the Gemini reading I just uploaded and refresh your memory from your last reading. That's what I'm seeing here is Gemini coming in, but it is the lovers, it is the twins, it's the soulmates, and they're still like that jury is still out. There is a choice that needs to be made and both of these cards are underneath. So I'm not sure that at present you have come to your conclusion, but in the future, magician, you can have it any way you want it. <sighs> if you have the patience. I feel with the magician here, you're planting the seeds based on having all the tools at your disposal to manifest what you want. So you know the specific seeds to plant and you are um, going to be open to waiting for the laws of nature to unfold organically with the twin. See? The past life soulmate, six of cups. Wow, Gemini, I can't wait to go on to the extended if this is speaking to you, because hear what you're manifesting. They're coming toward you, um, you know, from their heart with happiness. They're, they're waiting in carefully because they are reflecting on what went wrong and their regrets and mistakes of the past. And you here finally come to that point where the jury's not out anymore. You're using your powers of manifestation and your ability to wait for this connection to come into um, its season. Wow. So what I'm going to do in the extended, and the link is below in the description box, is I'm going to now pull the two of you together. I want to see what is really needs your attention here in this connection at this moment. What are the blocks to love here? What can you do about those? Or uh, what can you expect to come of that situation? I'll pull cards from a different deck, messages from spirit or the universe. That'll be an advice message. Maybe the energy surrounding you or something that's hidden from view that you may need to know about that could impact the outcome. And then we'll look at the potential outcome. I will also pull cards from your messages to and from each other, uh, as well as additional oracles. So I hope to see you there, Cancer. Otherwise, you know, be careful what you hold in your head, right? What thoughts you follow. Make sure they're your own. Um, I see something really, a major powerful shift. All this major arcana is really powerful. So I'll see you over um, in the extended or in a future reading. Take care. Bye.